So my partner Laura and I were having a debate the other day at work about what is and isn't a horror movie, what you can class as a horror movie and what you can't. Now this debate came about because I maintain that Martin Scorsese's movie, Shutter Island, is essentially a horror movie. Now I know that most people would consider Shutter Island to be a psychological mystery thriller, but essentially it's a horror movie in the same style as Stanley Kubrick's The Shining is a horror movie. To me, now I don't know whether or not this is true, but I've heard that the term psychological thriller, which a lot of movies seem to be brandished, uh, branded with uh, recently, came about when The Silence of the Lambs was nominated uh, for Best Picture at the Academy Awards um, back in the early 90s and they didn't want to show a horror movie as being nominated, it wasn't the done thing, so instead they started referring to The Silence of the Lambs as a psychological thriller. Now The Silence of the Lambs, for anybody who's seen it, is essentially a horror movie. It's a movie about a cannibal helping to catch a serial killer who wears women's skin for clothes. That to me is a horror movie. A very good, deep, well acted, well written, well directed horror movie, but a horror movie nonetheless. Now, I know that horror movies seem to come with a, a stigma that they are going to be shallow um, and, and not as relevant or important as, say, dramas or even some comedies. But I uh, put this question to you what would you consider to be a horror movie? Now, Shutter Island. As I mentioned, is the film that really brought this argument about. Shutter Island, to me, is made in the same style as The, the Shining. It, it definitely evokes that sort of uh, tone that Stanley Kubrick uh, established all those years ago. Yes, you could consider it to be a psychological thriller, but when you look at it, for everything from the editing, the script, the structure, the set design in particular, it's made like a, an old-fashioned maybe 40s or 50s gothic horror film. And to me, it is a horror movie. It's an unsettling film. Now, this is a point that came up when um, anybody who's been watching my horror movie videos that I've been doing recently, when Sam, the Lucha Media Geek, and I watched Frailty, we were watching it, and all the way through I was thinking, a lot of people wouldn't consider this to be a horror movie. They would consider it to be a psychological thriller. So I put the question to Sam. How would you class, in terms of genre, frailty? Would you consider this to be a full-on horror movie? And he asked me, do you feel unsettled watching it? Which I did. It's a very good movie. Um, you'll see my thoughts on frailty if you go back and check out uh, the videos. But I answered, yes, I do feel unsettled. It is quite an effective little thriller. And he said, well, to him, if he feels unsettled watching a movie, that essentially makes it a horror film. Because essentially, that is what horror movies set out to do. And Shutter Island is not a comfortable watch. It's an unsettling film, albeit it's rated uh, at 15 here and I think PG-13 in America, I think. It could be an R, but I'm pretty sure it's PG-13. A rating shouldn't have a bearing on whether or not a film is considered horror or not. For me, Shutter Island has all the trappings um, of a gothic horror movie and is essentially an homage to an earlier time in cinema history when horror um, was very much made in this style. So that's Shutter Island. Another film we debated was Kevin Smith's Red State. Now to me, this is a horror movie. Kevin Smith referred to it as a horror film before it was made, when he was still writing it and he first announced that he was going to do something away from the uh, Viewersk universe. Now this film essentially follows um, some teenagers who are lured into a, uh, a situation where they're going to have sex with a woman they met on the internet. They're captured by some Christian fundamentalists and essentially executed. And, you know, well, I don't want to say tortured, but probably psychologically tortured. Now, this film, when I saw it, and um, I actually saw this in the theatre in Manchester, I thought at the time, this is a film that reminds me tonally of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Tobe Hooper, which is one of the greatest horror movies ever made. I know it's a cliche to really love Texas Chainsaw, but it's fantastic. It's a classic. That's all there is to it. Red State definitely evokes certain aspects of that film, of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. To me, it's a horror film. It's unsettling all the way through. It's hard to watch at times. It's violent, although a horror movie should not be judged on its violent content. Horror is subjective. It's like comedy. What scares one person isn't going to scare the next. But to me, this, Red State, is a horror movie. 
Now, looking on IMDb, and it's considered to be, I think, action, thriller, horror, in that order. But I would disagree with that. I believe that Red State, the dominant genre in Red State, is horror. Which brings me to um, another point. Essentially, horror is a genre that has a wide spectrum of subgenres. So you've got out and out horror, you've got torture porn, you've got slasher, you've got splatstick. Um, it's divided into um, a lot of different subgenres. So for slasher, you've got films like Psycho, Scream, Halloween, Friday the 13th. For torch porn, you've got Saw and Hostel, uh, Splatstick, Evil Dead uh, trilogy. All these different subgenres within horror. Is psychological thriller a completely separate genre from horror, or is it a subgenre of horror? That is another question that I want to ask you, and any video responses, comments, whatever, would be greatly appreciated, because this is a subject I actually find very interesting, and would be interested to hear your thoughts. Now, when I'm doing a series of videos, you know, watching a horror movie every day throughout October, some of those movies are going to fluctuate within the spectrum of horror. For example, I will no doubt be watching, as part of Horror Movie Month, Ghostbusters, which, when, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's not a horror movie, it's a kid's fantasy comedy. Um, uh, well, yeah, probably fantasy comedy. It's a children's film, essentially. However, the subject matter deals with things that we've only ever really seen in horror movies. So this is another aspect of horror. Is it the subject matter that defines the genre, or is it the genre that defines the subject matter? To me, Ghostbusters would fit comfortably into Horror Movie Month, as would Monster Squad, another kids' film, um, a fantasy film based around characters and subject matter that has been well established in the horror genre for many years. Do these films, do these children's movies count as horror films? And when I say that, when I, the term horror I'm using is in are these kids' horror movies? Would you consider these to be horror movies in any way, shape or form? Because I would. I think for children, these are horror films, and that's why they will be more than likely included in the horror movie month that I'm doing. Another set of films that I uh, was thinking about marathoning, but again want opinions on, is the Tarantino Rodriguez uh, double picture, Grindhouse. Now, these two films, Death Proof and Planet Terror, are essentially designed to be horror films. Uh, Planet Terror is a zombie movie, and Death Proof is a slasher film. That's what Tarantino and Rodriguez said back when they made Grindhouse and it was uh, initially released over in the States. Now, these films, again, share uh, different tropes of, of other genres. Uh, Death Proof and Planet Terror are both essentially action thrillers with horror elements, but they are essentially, at their core, when you look at the subject matter, the graphic content, um, the the actual intention of the films to homage essentially John Carpenter films, slasher movies, they are homaging horror films that have been around for many years. So that's Grindhouse. And then by the same token, where do you draw the line? Would you consider Hobo with a Shotgun to be a horror film? Now this one is probably, along with Machete, these two, although they are under the Grindhouse banner, Hobo with a Shotgun was made by a competition winner that Rodriguez chose, um, making a fake trailer, the best one will get made into a film, that's what spawned Hobo with a Shotgun. And Machete is essentially a feature film based around one of the fake trailers that appears in the Grindhouse films. Are those films suitable for a horror movie month? Now, in my eyes, I would say that yes, they are. I think that a lot of people may associate Halloween with Grindhouse movies, and um, in specifically the Grindhouse films that were released uh, just a couple of years ago. So would you guys out there consider Grindhouse to be horror film or horror movie related and suitable for a horror movie mom for a horror movie marathon would you say that sitting and watching from dust till dawn which was essentially the first grindhouse film from dust till dawn planet terror death proof hobo with a shotgun and machete having that marathon does that marathon sit comfortably into horror movie month so while i've kind of bombarded you with different examples and different questions essentially what i'm asking is would you consider psychological thrillers to be included within the umbrella term of horror movies or the horror movie genre and how would you describe children's horror movies like Ghostbusters or The Monster Squad which are essentially fantasy adventures 
but dealing with subject matter that it has only ever really been dealt with in horror films. And by the same token, what do you consider the elements to be behind a horror movie? Is it the graphic content, the subject matter, the style, the tone, the editing? the script, you know, what? what is it that makes a horror film? How can you easily define a horror movie? Because unlike most movie genres, horror is a wide, wide spectrum of different genres. So your thoughts would be very much appreciated and I really wanted to kind of ignite a discussion here on YouTube. So please either leave comments, video responses, let me know what you think. I'll be really interested to hear it. Um, other than this video, you'll be seeing more horror movie videos and um, essentially what I've been watching every day in October. Some more movie reviews coming up. Um, I will be reviewing Sinister and um, a couple of others. So um, please, I look forward to all your comments. Thank you. Please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You're all absolutely brilliant and I'll catch you in the next video.